in the past, they gave you day passes. But now, we have freedom passes, but it's still a downfall when they don't always renew it. For example, my mate lost his freedom pass so many times, they refused to renew it. Boys and girls were always separated back in the day in those institutions. Now you've got this show called The Undateables, which in my opinion is lame and ridiculous. So what, they're saying people with disabilities have a special way of dating, do they? No, 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 did I mention no? They are just human beings with feelings like the rest of us. In the 50s, a young lad with autism and his friend were involved in a break-in. Let him have it! Shoot him or give him the gun? Sadly, no one understood. In recent times, when I was at school, my snide of a classmate admitted he framed me by putting blue tack under my desk, making it look like I was the thief, which made the teacher suspicious of me. But due to my fucking autism, I was unable to explain myself. Back in the day, they decided whether you had hospital currency or not. Now, Atos and DWP decide whether you have employment support allowance or not. You are acting like a stupid, ridiculous brat. You're getting the slipper. Class, have at this naughty boy. Let's punish him. Excuse me, what drugs are you on, sir? Are you feeling okay, sir? How old are you? 16. Then act like it, or you're in detention. Psycho, 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 psycho. Um, okay, I think you need to calm down, sir. You're scaring everyone. Seriously.